everyone and welcome. Happy July 4th. I am reviewing half the year is over, so I'm reviewing the results for the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room for 2023. Year to date. I mean, it's July 1st. I can't believe half the year is over. We have had an awesome 2023 so far. All of these trades that I'm going to go over here were called in the live room. The entry, the stop, and the exit. 332,394, a beautiful start to the year. And again, today's July 1st, First, I mean, to think that half the year is over is actually shocking to me. Um, but I have been very focused this year. And despite the fact that the market has rallied this year to start out 2023, most of the trades that we're gonna go over here today are shorts. For those of you that don't know what I do, I focus on shorts. I'm looking for bearish gaps every single day. And I'm looking for the fast trades. If you want to become a member of the live room, you must take the Golden Gap course first. That is a prerequisite in order to join the live room. But then you can take the trades with me live. You got to be there to get the trades. The room opens at 9 a.m. and we start trading between 9.30 and 10 a.m. So again, it's up to you if you want to do the day trades, but these are all trades on margin. There are people in the room that are doing day trades and options. Some are just doing options, some are just doing day trades. I like both. I like both personally. And one of the reasons, again, I love day trading is because it's fast. The moves go fast. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So trading gaps can be very lucrative. One of the reasons that I got into trading gaps is my first uh, big trade, okay, it was in Netflix, it was in a gap, and it was a short. And I said, oh my goodness, there's really something to this. And again, I, I, it was just like to have a, just a huge profit very, very quickly, and by huge, I mean anything with a comma in it, $1,000, $2,000, anything with a comma trade where you can make over $1,000 in two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five, where, where are you going to get a job like that? I mean, nowhere. So, you know, the idea of trading gaps was appealing to me and particularly the short side of things because the moves happen so quickly and so fast and that's what i really love about them so of course it's the time of the year where we're celebrating july 4th in the united states and it is the time of the year where you can think about where you are at with your trading where you are at with your life are you happy with your current career because if you're not maybe you want to think about learning how to trade while there is a time investment to take my class. It's a whole weekend. And there is a cost to take my class. It's $69.99. It is well worth it but you're gonna, because you're going to learn a strategy that you can use for the rest of your life to train. And it takes time and a plan of action to get yourself together where you want to be, but the sooner the better. And again, you can start trading now, do the class in July, and be up and going sooner than you think. I think a lot of people just think it's going to take forever and ever and ever. No, if you're trading and you're losing money, the chances are what you're doing isn't working. And if you're trading and making money, but you're not making enough money that you could do it to support yourself, then again, what you're doing isn't working. Scalping is not profitable enough to be able to last. Why? Because you're still going to have losers. So work for yourself, become independent. It is exactly what I did. And I never looked back. It was the best decision I ever made actually to quit my mortgage job and to trade for a living. So let's talk more about fast trades. That's what I focus on. Again, time of the day. You have to be available at 9.30, no later, to trade if you want to be in the room. But I'm always looking to do the setups in the first half hour of the day. So we started out the year, was closed for the holiday on January 3rd. The fourth, we did CVX, 3,500, that was a win. We haven't traded that in a while. Again, that's oil. Got to take a look at that again next week. QQQs was a winner in the 5th. CVX we did again in the 6th was a winner. Lulu lost. January 10th we did the Qs which lost and we had a huge winner in Tesla, 10,400. No trades on the 11th. Tesla was another winner on the 12th. Wells Fargo did not work. Two losers in that on the 13th. I will be watching that in two weeks. July 14th is a Wells Fargo earnings report. I can't wait to the banks report because they're going to the banks are going to be a telltale sign which happens for the summer. The summer movement of the market. We were closed on the 16th. MS was a big winner on the 17th. 18th was Schwab. That was a baby loser. 19th, we won in the market. Two trades um, in the market, the QQQs and the SPY. Now, if 
you don't want to day trade on margin the market ETFs, then you can do options. You could buy a put, okay, what I'm calling the trade in the queues, for example. 20th, no trades. PayPal was a winner. Off for January 24th. Microsoft was a big winner on January 25th. January 26th, we did IBM, which was a winner, and CVX 57.20. INTC lost on the 27th. CL was a winner of 3,600 on the 27th. No trades on January 30th. January 31st, Mu lost twice and CAT lost two. EA was a big winner to start out the month of February. That was good. And Tesla 37.20 on the 2nd. On February 3rd, Google lost, Starbucks lost, EA was a winner, and Amazon was a huge winner on the 3rd, 18,340. Then we did the SPY again on the 6th, Amazon another winner, 2640 on the 6th, Baidu did not work on the 7th, lost, Amazon big winner, 9,200 on the 7th. Google was a winner on February 8th. Matt lost. Tesla was a winner 65.60 on February 9th. February 10th, Lyft was a winner 3,500. February 13th, no trades. Amazon was a loser on the 14th, and Google was a solid, solid winner. February 15th was ACAM lost. DVM was a big winner 12,800. That stock can be spready, but it also can move very big. And so that was a great winner. On the 16th, we did Amazon, which lost. Q's lost shop. I doubled up in that. Didn't work out. Amazon was a big winner, though. 14,760 on the 16th. 17th was off. 21st closed. No trades on the 22nd. So say, for example, if I rate a gap and I rate it in the morning and it doesn't rate 20 points or more per my 26-point system, I'm not going to trade it. I won't do anything. And some days that's the case. So you gotta follow the system. That's the important thing about, again, following a system and even having a system. So many people that trade the market do not have a system at all. I, I, I don't know why they do that, but they do. February 23rd was Nvidia, which lost. eBay was a big winner. Closed on the 24th and no trades on February 27th. February 28th was a loser in the QQQs and Amazon. Then we had a winner in the Qs. Low was a winner, 47.40. Spy lost. Goldman lost. Snow was a big loser. And then Amazon 11, 160 was a winner. Then on March 3rd, Marvell lost. ZS lost. Cost was break even. Spy was a winner, no trades on the 7th, and Snap was a winner on March 8th, 33.60. So then we did Etsy, which lost on the 9th. JPM was a winner, big winner, 14,600 on the 9th. On March 10th, Oracle won. March 13th, Spy lost three times at a break even. That was, I just should have let go of that. UAL was a big winner, though, in the 14th. Goldman lost by one, and then another big winner, which was Goldman on the 15th. March 16th, the SPY lost. Tesla lost. Goldman lost a second retake, or a second day, I mean, and then a big winner in Adobe 10,500 on March 16th. Then we did Goldman again, which lost to the 17th, and the SPY 5550 was a winner on March 17th. March 20th, we did Tesla twice, which lost. The Q's once, and Amazon a big winner. Spy loss. INTC was a big winner, 6,400 on the 21st. Nike was a winner, 3,250 on the 22nd. Square was a winner on the 23rd, 3,580. Goldman was a winner, 2,900 on the 24th. And Baidu was a winner, 2,090 on the 27th. And the QQQ's was a winner, 2,465. That was a nice run. Again, the best days I ever have, the best weeks I ever have is one trade and done. One trade and done. That's my goal every day. That's my goal. March 29th, Schwab lost 1380. Mew was a big winner, 7,000. Apple won on March 30th. The QQQs won 4,050 on March 30th. March 31st, no trades. April 3rd, Tesla was a winner, 3280. April 4th, BA lost. Schwa was a big winner, CVX lost, and BA was a huge winner, 8,400. 
Schwab 1, 2000. April 6th, we were closed, and April 7th. Then on April 10th, we did Tesla again. 6,100 snow loss and Zoom lost. Amazon was a big winner on April 11th. AAL won on the 12th. Infi was a winner on the 13th. Then again, this was earnings season. April 14th, we did C, which won, and BA won. Again, earnings season starts in two weeks. I can't wait. That's a busy time to train. And also, you have huge moves during earnings season. The 17th was Google, which lost, and Schwab, which lost. And then on the 18th, we did Goldman twice, which lost. Tesla was a winner, and J&J &J was a small winner, too. On April 19th, we did Netflix, which worked. Google lost, and Tesla lost. Then we had a huge winner in Tesla on April 20th, 12,870. We did that recently. That was a huge winner recently too. April 21st, Amazon lost. Tesla lost. Amazon was a huge winner, 21,700 on April 21st. April 24th, Tesla lost. Then we did a second trade in Tesla, which worked 82.50. April 25th, Verizon lost. And then UPS was a big winner, 6,300. Microsoft lost on the 26th, Cat won on the 27th, and then we were off on the 28th, May 1st, and May 2nd. May 3rd was CVS, which worked. Nice winner. Amazon was a big winner, 6,600. Peloton worked 1,200, and the SPY did two things that day on May 4th. May 5th was Apple, 36.40, off on the 8th. PayPal worked 24.25 on May 9th. May 10th, the QQQs lost, but PayPal was a huge winner. 9,900 PayPal, we did a bunch of options in two that were just huge, huge. Disney was May 11th. I'll be looking where those earnings come out. 2,925 winner, the 12th off. 15th was BA, which lost. Qs lost, Spy lost. That was not a good day. 16th, we did the HD, which lost, and Tesla, which lost. PayPal was a good, solid winner that day. Apple was a huge winner, May 17th. 9,360. And then on the 18th, PayPal won huge. Babel lost the first trade, second trade worked. Cisco lost and Apple lost too. That was a busy day. Foot Locker, we did two trades. First one lost, second one was a huge winner, 11,400 on the 19th. And the 22nd was Mew, 3325. Love it when the first trade to take works. I mean, that's most of my trades, but. You can really see here how the easy days are boom, boom, boom. May 23rd, Zoom 1, 2800, SPY 1, 3450. Closed them for Memorial Day holiday. Then we came back. Then we did NVIDIA, 2304. Then on the 31st, QQQs was a loser. SPY was a big winner. Then June was a good month. June 1st, CRM was a $3,000 loss. QQQs was a, a loss. Spy was a loss, and Navinia was a huge winner, 12750 on June 1st to start out June. T was a baby winner on June 2nd. No trades on June 5th. CN won on the 6th. Navinia, we did two trades, which did not work, but we did do a huge trade in the QQQs that worked, 22500 June 8th, we did Mu, which worked. LVS, which worked. Target, we did on the 9th, 3250 Then we did it again on the 12th. 33.25, that was a beautiful short this month of June. NVIDIA, again, 34.45, we did that a few times in June too. Uh, calls and day trades, actually. June 14th, CVS lost the first trade, but a huge winner, the second trade, 13,700. We did the SPY in the 15th, which did not work. NVIDIA was a winner, 1,700 on the 16th. We did Target again on the 20th, 2,100. The 21st target lost, but we, then we did a beautiful spy with an ad on the 21st. BA was on the 22nd, 2580. On the 23rd, we did BA again, which didn't work. Um, and I took a lot of risk in that BA. Then we had a loser in the spy, did Tesla two more times, and a, and the, a small BA. Really, again, when you're, when you're starting out, again, the, the ad is an advanced concept, which I'll go over at another time, but it, it really can be very lucrative when it actually works. The problem is when it doesn't work, you will lose two times the amount in the trade, which is what happened with that first BA there. CCL was a winner, 6,700. CVS was a loser, 627. And then WBA was a winner, 200. And then on June 28, GIS was a nice winner, 1,640. And then Baidu was a huge winner to end my month, 9,060. Closed on Friday, was off for Friday, 
for the holiday week. So again, you know, this year has been a good year. And again, most of the trades were short. Some of the trades were longs, but most of the trades in here were actually shorts. So let's go over the one that we did recently, which was CCL. Just so the, those of you that know, like I said, everything that I do is based on the gap. If you don't know what I do, you will learn what I do in the Golden Gap course, but it is all based on gaps and I focus on bearish gaps. So the class I do every month is the bearish gap class. Here was CCL, stock closed here, gap down. Closed up here, you know, at four o'clock on the one particular day and open lower than on the second day. So a gap is the difference between the close and the open. So it closes at one price and opens at a different price. In the case of CCL here, we had a gap down. We shorted it, boom, got the drop. Down here's the volume, okay? This was a recent short. Here was the call. Again, I call this live in the room. If you were there, you got the trade. $14.45 was the entry. Stop was $15.10, okay? So you must size yourself according between the entry and the stop. So the position size you take number of shares will vary. You can't always do 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares because the stop may be small, may be big. I don't know until I see the setup. Risk was 32.50, then we did an ad above our price, which cost average my price up, helped me make more money. Uh, ad at 14.80, total shares was 10,000. We're gonna go over buying power in a minute. Average price was 14.62, and the exit was 13.95. I had a great exit on this. Profit was 6,700. So again, that's this day. $6,700 in profit on this day, on a day trade. We also did a put in it. This was a nice one. Again, you know, whether you do a put or whether you do a day trade, whether you do one or both, I did both. You can make money if you get it right. The timing, the entry, the exit, all of it. And again, that's what I teach in the class. That's the whole point of my class is to learn all of those things specifically. So I think a lot of people just, they're back and forth too much with what they're doing. They wait too long to take trades. They don't get big moves and they don't make any money. So I, this is a big move for this stock. 50 cents is a big move. 80 cents is a big move, a dollar. I mean, it went more than a dollar on the day. We captured it at the best place we possibly could have. Now, if you had a retail trading account and you took 10,000 shares at the average price cost of this CCL, okay, this was with the ad. On a four to one margin cash, you would have needed is $36,550. So you're on four to one margin. That means that's how much cash you would have had to have at a broker to take the trade that I just reviewed. Now, if you wanted to open up a prop account, you get 10 to one margin. How much cash would you have needed? 14,620. Again, the benefit of trading on margin is you don't need the full cost of the position because you're trading on margin whether it's proper retail. And again, you can look into that yourself. There's plenty of brokers out there that you can go to and trade. And obviously you do not have to take 10,000 shares of this, but I'm just showing you, you see how you could have made $6,700. The cash you would have needed to do that was 36,550. Okay, and, I, and again, I'm using the advanced trader example here, and I'm also using the um, four to one margin example at a, at a retail broker, you would have basically made 18% of your cash in one trade, in one day. That's huge. You're never, where are you gonna make that? Nowhere. And again, you put in a stop. If the trade would have lost, you would have lost, okay? And so margin is actually a good thing to help you maximize your profits. And again, the risk is you put in a stop. It's a limit order stop. So the risk is the difference between the entry and the stop. The risk is not the cash needed to take the trade on margin. That's options. That's something different, which we'll talk about in another lecture. This is, we're talking today about day trades because we're talking about the live room and I'm talking about the benefits of using margin here and how good of a year we've had since the start of 2023 in the room. So again, People get scared of margin. There's no reason to be scared of margin. Margin helps you. It helps you maximize your profitability. And again, if you were at a, for example, a, a prop place with 10 to one margin, cashing into 14, 620, you, you basically uh, made almost half your money. 
<laughs> in one trade, 6,700 with 14,620 cash to take this position. I mean, it's just, you know, where, where are you going to get to turn your money around like that? Nowhere other than the stock market. This is the reason to train people. I just, people just don't get it, you know? So I'm trying to explain it, but I do take an advanced trader risk and I'm thinking about having my risk because it's been a, a good year. It's around $2,800 per trade. You can risk less. You can risk 500, 600, 1,000. You can risk more. Whatever has to do with the size of your cash in your account and what you're comfortable with. So can you trade with a beginner risk? The answer is yes. I have a broad spectrum of people trading on the options newsletter and the room with different risks. If you don't know, ask me. I will be honest with you and I will tell you what I think, but it is up to you to learn the program first. I would start out slow. I would start out slow. And again, you know, you have to take the Golden Gap course to be in the room, it's a prerequisite. But I would start out slow. You have plenty of time, all the time in the world to actually trade and up your risk and make more money. So I would start out slow and then I would grow it. But again, a lot of people want to do options. Now, if you come and you join the room, you're in the room and you want to do the trades as options, that's up to you. The options newsletter is how I do the options. There's where I call the strike. But the benefit of trading options with a small account is that you could open up an account without having to worry about a margin account at a retail broker, for example, as little as $2,000. Again, you're not trading options on margin. It's a cash account. Your risk or your stop is basically your risk, the number of contracts that you take. So you could buy a put, for example, in CCL, which we did do. We did do. You could have bought the $14 puts, for example, if you didn't want to do the day trade I called if you were in the room. That gives you some idea of somehow that you could do it. But again, you can sign up for the options newsletter and just get the exact trades that I am doing on the options newsletter for the ones I'm doing. But this is a great time of the year to, to sit back, relax, have a beautiful weekend, and think about where you're at with your life. Are you on track for the year, for 2023, to meet your goals, to meet your financial goals? Are you on track and with your training? And if you're not, you need to consider the idea of learning a system like mine, taking the Golden Gap course. It's not too late. It's not too late. You can turn your trading area around and again, if, if I had a, a nickel for every person that came to me and you know said they wish they had done the class a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, January 2023, I mean, I'd have a lot extra money than I do right now because so many people think about doing the class, want to do the class, and they just can't get over the hump. I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, the longer you wait, the faster time goes on. Things aren't getting any better for you. You need to do something about it. The only person that can improve your finances, quite frankly, is you. You are the one that has to take it upon yourself to make the changes in your own life and your trading and do something about your finances if you want to improve them and, of course, make more money. So this class is a culmination of three years of my life trading, figuring out the system, and I'm so blessed, so blessed that I know what I know. It's in my brain. I will never forget it. I will know how to do it for the rest of my life. As the years go on, I get better every year. And again, experience, education, all of these things help you too. And I try to offer that to people along with mentorship. So if you want to come and learn my class, it's called the Golden Gap Course. I teach this class once a month. The class for July is July 22nd and 23rd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $69.99 U.S. dollars. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Sign up early. If you want to sign up, you can sign up and start trading. 